So um, I'm here to tell you about uh, careers in IT. So I'm going to be talking about two things. Uh, first is about summer of tech, and, and then I'm going to be talking about who wants a career in IT because things are, have changed quite dramatically over the last 12 months to make getting a job a lot harder. Right. So uh, what is summer of tech? Tech is a non-profit internship program that helps uh, get students recruited into Wellington companies. So um, we were called Summer of Code, now we're bigger and better. So over the last four years, this is our fifth year, we've put 110 students in over 50 companies. But the most important thing, two out of three of those students get on hire. So what do I mean by that? That means they either get part-time or full-time work in those companies. All right. In terms of track record, we can't be beaten in the country. There's no one who's hiring more students through a program anywhere else. So this is the best in the country. You can't be better than this. We're here to help you get a job. And we're trying to figure out better ways to do so. So what is different this year? Well, we've got four pathways to get your job. So previously we just did code. Right, so that's code, so that's actual programming, computer science, all that sort of computer geeky tech stuff, right? right. We also do engineering, so electrical engineering, circuit boards, microcontrollers, all that stuff. If you're really into that sort of stuff, robotics, there's engineering firms wanting students, all right? So we've started to contact them, they want, they want help, so we're going to be helping people get engineering jobs. Business analysis. It's a crazy word. What it means is people who are like secret decoder rings between a business and programmers. They're the ones who figure out what does the business actually want to do, what do the users want to do, and make it happen for that business. Right? Very, very important. Because as you guys know, if you if you're coding and someone gives you bad instructions, what happens? You write bad code. All right? You actually do what you were told, but it's not the right thing. So business analysis people are very, very important. And lastly is design. You know, if you all think things are cool, or well, someone had to design them, someone had to think about how they actually work. So we're trying to get jobs for people from the design side, so that's about user experience, actual design sort of side of things. So there's four streams we're doing this year. So what's in it for you? Well, you get a lot of free training. Doing boot camps, uh, training sessions, all that sort of stuff. If you get hired, you get 400 hours of experience. All right. So over a summer, if you're doing a Bachelor of Engineering or anything that requires work experience, you need 800 hours. You can crack 400 off in one go. And if you manage to get on hire by the company, you'll probably do about 150 to 200 hours during the year as well. So you're like well on your way to get that knocked off. All right. 18 bucks an hour. All right. It's better than working at McDonald's. All right, uh, but you also get to learn that so that's a minimum amount. We had people getting slightly over that if they were more expensive, but that's the minimum you're going to get. Right, so it's guaranteed. Also, you get to actually create networks and start building your career networks with people in industry. All right, very very important in a place like Wellington, where it's all about who you know and not what you know. All right, very very important to get opportunities to build those networks. We've got a lot of great companies involved. So some of you guys would have been at Career Day last week and we found out that Trade Me was telling everybody that like, oh, if you're, a gra if you're going to graduate soon or you're about to graduate, you guys should check out Summer of Code because they are hiring for us this year. We've, we've managed to convince them. We'll hold them to that promise. Uh, we've also got other great companies, Weta, Zero, Catalyst, uh, Kiwi Bank, a whole bunch of others, right? So there's a lot of different types of companies there. They do lots of different things, mobile phone development, compiler design, um, banking stuff, mobile, you know, so mobile, there's games, there's all sorts of stuff, right? So there's a lot of great companies to be with, there's a lot of different types of jobs that you can get involved in. So the boot camps, um, we're doing a big emphasis on communication skills this year. I'll talk about why that's important later. So the resume workshop, we've got one on Thursday. I'm going to go through that. It's going to be quite different. So I'm going to do a, a lecture, and then we're going to actually get in and try and build a CV on the fly. Right? 
So I've got a couple of different ideas to try and do it, but I'm going to take you through the paces to do it. And then later on, when you actually need to write your CV, we're going to actually give you an opportunity to get your CV critiqued by someone like me. So I come in and I'll tell you what's good and what's not good. But actually give you help one-on-one -on -one later on. Because this is the most important thing we're finding out from employers, that the CV quality is not good. All right? So next we'll also be doing communication skills. So you guys have to front up to an employer. They can be scary. All right? You've got to put your best foot forward, and if you can actually have a good interview, it gets you well on the way. So we need to help you there. Also, we're going to do technical stuff. So you're doing a lot of technical stuff here at the university, but it's not what they do in the real world. All right? So you're learning a lot of theory and fundamentals. There are particular languages like .NET or Ruby on Rails or PHP, all those sorts of things that you don't get a lot of exposure. So it's very, very important that you do know about these things because employers are what are going to be a lot more picky. Um, we're also going to do some stuff that you do a little bit of, uh, code management unit you know, testing, because that's also very, very important when you get into the real world, because that's how they operate. You've got to, we've got to get you to mimic what happens in the real world so that you can actually participate better. Right, this year, and it's going to be relevant for a lot of you guys, we're going to do a hack fest. So this is what we're going to call a master class. This is basically people who have been through Summer of Code before, may or may not have got hired, but effectively are in the third or fourth year. We want you to come to things called master classes, because effectively what we're going to do is we're going to get you next to people from industry, you get to work on projects, and then that gives the opportunity for those companies to see you up close and personal and make a decision. Right? So before they make a decision about whether they want to hire you or otherwise, you get to actually be really close to these particular companies and they get to see you how you actually work and do some codes. So we're talking about some fun couple of events and gives you an opportunity to go through your paces and get close to the companies because they want to see more of you. All right? So we're trying to give them that availability. So it starts now. If you haven't, you probably all have signed up on the site, so that's great. But you need to make sure that you're signed up properly. If you're interested in some of those other streams, you need to click them because we're going to be communicating exclusively through the site. All right? So we will go through Ali and all the stuff from the, the lecturers and all that sort of thing, but primarily we're going to go through the site. But wait. It's not going to be so easy anymore. Um, we're a little bit of... Uh, We've got uh, our own success has actually been a bit of a problem. We've got more students wanting things, and we have an issue of we've got limited numbers. Okay, so uh, for fire regulations, I can't pack a certain type of room, otherwise, we get in lots of trouble. So, um, we have to be very, very careful. So, what we're going to ask of you guys, you need to step up. Okay, so we're going to expect a lot more participation from you guys, but it, 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 otherwise you're going to be out, right? So we had a few freeloaders last year of people who turned up at, at certain events and all those sorts of things, and they weren't really participating. We don't really care if it's a free pizza, but if, if you're taking up a seat that somebody else could take who's interested, we're going to give it to them. So we're going to be a lot more strict about who's coming in, right? Because obviously, people like myself, um, we are asking for volunteers to give their time, they want to know that they're putting in the effort of the people that are there. So it's very, very important. All right? As I was saying, we've got people waiting. But there is a reward. Participation that happens. So someone recognizes what this is. Um, there is a reward. Uh, for the people that participate, we pay attention. Us being the people that run it. Because what happens is, later on in the year, people ask us, hey, um, I'm still looking for somebody I, I missed the summer of code, do you know anybody? Right? So we go, hmm, who do we know? Wow, well, that guy participated. We'll forward them on. Ruth got 10 people in jobs that didn't make the first cut. Right? 10. And who got selected? She goes, who are the best guys? So I go and think, right, who participated? Okay? Because I've looked at all the CVs, I've looked at all that sort of stuff, but I've got to see who's keen. Okay? So your participation. We are watching, we do take note, all right? So if you do participate, you do give it your best, then it will, you will get rewarded. And some people that fluffed the interview, right, with other companies, they got picked up because we said he's a good guy, you fluffed the interview, we know he's okay, all right? 
So um, we've even 